All right, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. If you would have seen that, that was like a record amount of water bottles drank in a 30-minute break. Hydrated, ready to go. There's a good chance in the next couple hours that hydration is going to come out the other end, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We are back for the second half of our long play Saturday. This is Quarters Without Borders, where we are playing today for a better tomorrow. We racked up quite the donation count on the first half today. We had... I'm thinking. We had 40... 40 deaths, 40 retries. We started today at a some donation total of $39, and in the last session, we brought in $10 even, bringing our total up to $49 right now. So that was a doozy. This, of course, is all going to the United Way of Central Ohio, once we complete The Last of Us Part 2. So, woo, 40, 40 retries. That was a lot of quarters. But we've re-upped the tally, $49, and we have cleared the jar, so I have more quarters to spend on the second half here, and we're going to dive right back in. So we had just had a pause. We dropped the little manual save. And where we're picking up at, we are going to make our way to the hospital. You have to make in with the chat on screen. Flynn again had a really good comment um, right there at the end of the break about putting a timer. And there's something to be said about great minds because it's so funny. I wish I could show you this, but I actually made a note. I opened up a notepad document and put some notes in it when I was brainstorming. And I, the two things I put was I need a text chat on the screen saying that we're on break first of all and I need something that has either like a five minute warning or some sort of timer system so that you can see it when you jump on the stream because I can put it in the chat but I think if you're just logging into the stream you probably can't see the past dated chat like the chat that happened before you entered so it doesn't do anyone good if they just jumped in so I'm like you know we need some sort of on-screen clock or timer so I can let people know when we're coming back on and of course five minutes later Flynn great minds reached out into the other and pulled that idea down and of course you did the exact same thing you're like yo I saw this other streamer had like a timer for like their break like we should try something like that and I'm like yeah that's a so totally solid idea so wow isn't that crazy <laughs> so that'll be on the list we need some sort of interactive live timer on screen for, for the 30-minute breaks or even the short bathroom breaks who knows all right we are in day two your friends are wolves too yeah it is a we nice were lucky mel was there she's one of the best surgeons in seattle mel pregnant lady um, what's his name the man owen mel owen Abby. And the dog's Alice. I don't like dogs. How do we get to the really tall buildings? They're just there. Path ahead kicks out toward downtown. The Is really it that tall buildings? The really tall buildings. This will be good for her, of course. You gonna be able to get us the rest of the way? The route starts at the edge of the Russian water. You get us there, and I can take over. These bridges are really going to get us over the rapids? Yeah. All of them? Yes. In just a couple hours? I'm not lying. Okay. I wonder if that one overhanging bridge thing that we've seen a few times now, I wonder if that's part of their little sky network. Like, uh, it might actually be that one right there. And that might be a crane. I wonder if it's all part of the same system, though. 
Okay, two rounds, two bolts, one incendiary shotgun shell, two shots for the hunting pistol, and five rounds with the potential to be silenced if we need it. Two med packs, no pipe bombs, one incendiary round, no shivs, no melee weapon. And we have a list of amputation supplies. Oh, geez, we need a lot. Antibiotics, a scalpel, a saw, a mallet, curettes, I'm not familiar with curettes, I don't know what that is. Dissection and cutting scissors, are those two separate things or one item? Clamps, gauze, wraps, tape, pain meds, and a suture kit. We need quite a bit of stuff, actually. And do I have a bottle or a brick? I do not. Okay. It'd be nice to have, like, re-outfitted with equipment before we go out, but we're gonna make it work. So, here we go. With Lev as our guide. Let's see what we can get done. <clears throat> if I jump in the water, do you think it will kill me? Although I doubt there are supplies over there. And we're probably trying to avoid the water. Oh no, I could probably swim. Maybe there's an exit over there. Let's try not to get too wet. We just started our adventure. Not from there. We worked so hard to get here to the aquarium. I feel almost like it's sacrilegious to be leaving so soon. I'm like, you know how hard and long we fought just to make it here? And now we're turning around and leaving? Ugh. It just feels wrong. Uh, back into the horrifying zombie woods. Which probably aren't as zombie occupied in the daytime for some reason. The very orderly broken pieces of tarmac. Hang on, Lev. Oh, it just doubles back. Before you go running up ahead. She didn't look very happy. I'm down on the street level. All wet and overgrown. Uptown. Oh, wow. There's a lot of rapids. Wolf, there it is. That's the building we need to get to. Okay, I see the it. The one with like the construction gantries on the side. What happens if we can't get the stuff in front of us? She'll have to try to do the surgery with what Owen has around. It, it's not... That wouldn't be good. Do you think she'll make it? We get the supplies. Yeah, she'll have a good shot. I feel like, I don't know if they have, I mean, they seem pretty young, so maybe they were like born in like a, a, a scar camp. They seem pretty ignorant of the ways of the world, if that makes sense. So like, we don't touch the stuff from the old times. Climb our way up that way. Okay, okay, I see you. Give me a moment here. I 
feel like for how fast and hard that water is, like, flowing, there should be a lot more stuff going on down here. It's awfully calm. Oh, we got a frog! Nice motion blur effect on the frog. So much for staying dry. We got Franklin's Barber Shop. Let's check that out really quick. Is that to pick that painting of like dogs playing poker? Twenty bucks for a haircut. That's not that bad. Not for a barber shop. We got Nevada State Quarter. Eighteen sixty-four. Do you know our dogs can play cards like that? I'm thirteen, not eight. You're the size of an eight-year-old. Do other people think you're funny? No. <laughs> What's compartment syndrome? If too much pressure builds up in your muscles, the blood can't move in and out of the tissue. Tissue? Kind of like the skin inside your body. How do you know all that? I grew up around doctors. Like Mel. And I was alive back when there was a public education system. And we were taught simple things like tissue. <laughs> Oop, that is not an open window. All right, going across. Like, for real, though. Like, that is like a torrent. That is a full wall of just rushing water. And I'm just like, eh, no big deal. Alright, alright, we're going. Ooh, second floor though. We can go that way to get up to that building. It's probably what we have to do, but we could explore this building in the meantime. Made it across. What do we got? No foods. But supplies, supplies are always handy. Supplements. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, enough to make shivs. Yeah, let's do the shivs. It doesn't share anything with the pipe bombs. Let's see, this is going to go to increased health, not really concerned with. Momentum for melee kills, that could be useful for me because I do a lot of melee fighting. But, eh, I don't know. Crafting that ammo would be useful. And this is just better everything. Awfully dark in there. Ooh, that's not tall. Cool. 
Hopefully that's a good omen. Whatever that kind of bird was. What was that? Just a hole in the roof or something? Very odd. It's very out of place, whatever that is. Over. See if we can get to the top of this building. You've been to these sky bridges before, right? Yeah. You think we're gonna see a lot of scars? Seraphites. Um, you gonna be okay if we do? I was yesterday. Yeah, but those guys were hunting you. They're all hunting us. Seraphites. So it's like a splinter group from the scars. The drama is real. Notice mandatory evacuation order. So one kind of cool thing here on the, uh, I guess, tabletop wargaming front today, if anyone recalls, is the launch day for the ninth, ninth edition of Warhammer 40k. So just today at noon, I went out and went to the local game shop. I'm going to plug the soldiery right here on like Clintonville, North High Street. Rad place. Definitely would say I'd support them. Great prices on Games Workshop products. But went there and uh, secured my copy of um, the new Indomitus launch box. So it is actually in the other room, still shrink wrapped, not even opened yet. And that will be for after the stream, of course. But super excited to kind of dive into that. Well, we're going up, which is a good thing. Whoa! That was a rat. By order of the Federal Disaster Response Administration. You are hereby ordered to evacuate all commercial residential locations and proceed along evacuation routes effective immediately. Well, of course, we can only go up one flight of stairs, which seems to kind of be just the... the norm. You only ever go up one flight of stairs at a time. That's the date. It's Fedra. The any and the zero, I don't know what those might refer to, but. Northeast could be any, I guess. Dang, what happened here? This is like the shining kind of a stuff. Someone hacked their way out of this room. Here we go, a little chemical. I think that's explosive, actually. Yes, it is. Do I make incendiary shells or pipe bombs? We're gonna do pipe bombs. We're not gonna light it yet, Abby. I know you're anxious, just not yet. It's kind of cool with how much it's overgrown. Like, this could be a nice little, like, post-apocalyptic cafe. By the way, we're going. Jeez, like, what happened here? Someone just like, was there like a flat screen TV on the wall and someone was just like, I'm taking this. And just like ripped it off. Watch the glass. What do we got here? May she guide you. Yeah, that was painted over top of that poster, I guess. That's just some creepy cultish kind of stuff. Dang. Somebody off themselves, it looks like. A 
things. Lots of things. Glad we came in here. This was our last stand, this tiny little room. I wonder why. Why they trapped themselves in that one room. There's a lot of little vignettes like that. They could tell little stories. We got a ladder to the rooftop. Alright, going up. Why is there barbed wire on the roof? Seems a bit extreme. Seems very much extreme. Oh, that's what we gotta do? We're gonna make that jump to the highway, and then what, jump again? And get over to those things over there? I mean, that skyscraper is still a little ways off, I suppose. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> what? Oh, fuck. Can that kid make that jump? I mean, I barely made it. She's like a little spry thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought you didn't make it. You okay? I'm fine. You sure? I said I'm fine. I was only paranoid because I thought you didn't make the jump, Lev. Jeez. It's quite the sight to see, though. Skip the next chunk. Getting closer to your tall building. If you ever want to face your fears, I guess it's going to be... Let's use the sky bridges that go along the skyline of uh, Seattle. That's a big drop. That could look really bad down there. Mm hmm. All right. Here we go. Oh, it would have been so cool if I jumped and like broke the glass. That was in a movie. What was that? Was that like a Bourne movie? He jumps and like breaks through the window. Uh, you gonna open it? We're gonna have to do a little zigzagging. Speaking of Warhammer, look, another Warhammer reference. How long have you been on the run for? Two days. Where were you headed? I don't know. Just... away. So you're gonna tell me the real Sovereign reason why they're at Gino? I did. They want to kill a little boy because he shaved his head. I wasn't allowed. It's a rule. I broke it. Jeez. So why'd you do it? I don't know. Wait, is Leva boy? Pretty punk rock of you. Punk rock? I get the impression you don't follow most rules. Hmm. I guess so. Is Leva boy? I've been operating on the assumption that Lev is a girl. Remnant. That looks cool. I'm driving like a Lamborghini. Shooting a gun. Supernova Odyssey. This, this is straight up another wargaming reference. They must have some big Warhammer or wargaming fans over there at Naughty Dog. That's exactly what this is. No, this is Dungeons and Dragons with Warhammer figurines. Because look at this. They have a Dungeon Master screen over here. And he's got his dice. Oh, yeah. This is kind of like Dungeons and Dragons with the Warhammer minis. Look at that. They even have the correct dice for the Dungeons and Dragons. Isn't that awesome? He's got his little screen. 
and keeping track. Well, that's actually kind of clever. Look at that. So he's got his, like, characters. And then on the back side of the post-it note, or folded paper, he's got track of their stats. Yeah, isn't that pretty cool? Instead of just a scrap piece of paper, he's got it there on the screen like that. What do we got? This is, uh, extended spells and treasures. More D&D &D dice. Although it's like literally all Warhammer figurines. They have like machine guns. <laughs> like they're space marines. <laughs> and this book is... The Guidebook of Heroes. A.K.A. The Player's Handbook. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's the little things, you know? What do we got here? A map. Two different floors. Home, Richard, Mo, Julie. This has been cleared. That's cleared. The deli is infected, though. Interay? Interay? I don't know. Ramen roll. That's cleared. Cleared that there are infected in that bottom. The thing is, I don't know what this refers to. Like, what is the reference point? Where am I at? To the girl next door, we're Sam and James. We live in 302. They didn't know anyone else was still here. We're not scary, we swear. Leaving behind a freshly baked treat, Sam. Thanks for the cornbread. My mom told me to give you this bottle of vodka. <laughs> Hope it's a good kind. Why didn't you guys get on the bus with everyone else? My name's Julia. My mom's name is Heidi. Julia. Where did you find this vodka? This is legit. We stuck around because we wanted some alcohol. No, we stuck around because we heard some horror stories about the temp apartments. People left to police themselves, letting them rob and kill each other. We'd rather take our chances here. Let us know if you or your mom need anything, Sam. Thanks again. I'm going to look for more cornbread mix while I'm out. That was a game changer. Sweet of you guys to offer to help with my mom. I could really use the hand. Going to go out scavenging now, but back tonight. Just knock. Julia. Scars saw James cooking on the roof. They shot him. I killed two, but one got away. I'm leaving our door unlocked and some supplies in our safe. Combo is our apartment number, then your apartment number. Take everything and get out of here, Sam. I can't leave my mom behind. I'm gonna barricade our door and hope for the best. Your stuff's still in the safe. My aim's crap. If they get in, we're just gonna put our hands up. Julia. I do not want to see what happens in her apartment, because I have a feeling that they didn't make it. Well, they're in 302. And then I need her apartment. So that's Julia. Sam and James is home. So this is all cleared. Now, are these floors or are these buildings next door? Because I could be infected here, infected here, and then we don't know beyond that. Oh, man. Well, there's the safe. I know it's 302 and it's going to be 30 something. Nope, nope, nope. Let it go. Let it go. We don't know the combination yet. Although we could always hazard a guess. There's a lot of doors in this little apartment. Cool posters. Wow, they have a lot of wargaming supplies. Two different armies, a red one and I'm assuming that's a blue one. Looks black to me though. Oh, they've got like a, even like an air compressor for like spray painting. Like they had their little uh, paint air gun there. This is their whole little hobby workshop. 
epic poster of like an elf lady and her eagle. Baseball bat. We got enough to get a third med kit, so we'll top it off. Well, I don't know what happened with them because they're not here anymore. James and Sam. I mean, I don't know if James died. Is that what she means by he was shot? Did he pass away? On the roof? Rio 2. That should be up here. She lives in Home Sweet Home, 304. Jay Kennedy. Julia, I guess? But wouldn't it be under her mom's name? Heidi? I feel like it should be under her mom's name, Heidi, not Jay. So 302 and 304. Leviathan's Conquest. Look at the size of that dragon compared to that horse. Dang. The art of Leviathan's Conquest. It does not appear as if we can get inside her room either. So we don't know what's going to happen to them. 302. And 304. What do we got? <laughs> uh, some ammo. Decent catch here. I'm not upset with that. Don't mind some shotgun shells, though. Let's change the quick draw. I'd like the quick draw to be that. Okay. Infected, infected, cleared. Oh, yeah. Not going down. Definitely going up. Get into the other rooms. We're not getting into any of the other rooms. Oh, that's actually a neat effect. Like it's like that glass brick. It doesn't look half bad, to be honest. Alright, here we go. Here's the roof. That gets us in somebody's apartment. Target practice, I see. How would you get shot from up here? Unless they were like on higher ground, I suppose. Cool. Huh. How long have you been using that thing? My bow? Since forever. You're good with it. I don't believe in guns. You should have seen Yara. Why did they do that to her? Where'd you go? We can be cruel. My mom would say that. About wolves. Well, she wasn't wrong. <clears throat> I'm scared for her. Why? People will blame her for what I did. So he's in trouble because he cut his hair? That's really the only reason? Nope, just right back into this area. Kind of hoping we could fall on one of the buildings. Well, onward and upward. This is the stairs that we saw from the highway. Well, we could jump down there. That's an option. 
That's a far fall, though. What that's worth, you know? It's quite the drop. Uh, 20 is not enough. Uh, it could be hunting pistol ammo. get this. Hunting pistol ammo. Circle, 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 circle. Ooh, that's dizzying. Dang. Can you drop? <laughs> Shit. I knew it. I knew there were going to be zombies. He just walks to that corner. There's no way. What the heck was that? Oh, she jumped down. He jumped down. There's no way to get in. Well, if we're going to break glass, I prefer to break this glass over here. We gotta get through there. No, there's not really any other way. We have to go through. Once I break this window, though, there's another zombie in the back. Watch out! Done. Oh gosh, really? Nice shot with the arrow, Led. Oh gosh. Staying on the ledge is not the best idea. They, I mean, I was just excited about that clicker kill with that shot. There's no way to get in there silently. If I can lure them not to break that glass on the side here, and maybe just break this glass, I can channel them all through here. We'll just fight him here. Heads up! Come on. Come on. Oh, dang it, really? Shoot, shoot. Oh my gosh, really? Two clickers? Not good. Oh gosh! Get it off! Oh gosh. Come on, point blank. Come on, Lev. What are you gonna do here? How are you gonna help? Gosh. Oh my gosh. Getting out of hand. Clicker's done. Oh, 
Okay. Pipe bomb. Uh, you're you're talking my language, Lady Dragana. You're talking my language. You've done so good. I do not want to die at this point. It's so dark, I can't see where he's at. Oh, there he is, he's in the back. Got a pipe bomb ready. Kidding me, right? Okay. Pipe bomb for the win. You okay? One incendiary yes. round if we need it. But let's hope we don't need it. How many seraphites have you killed? Why? I don't know. A ton. Well, that actually... That went better than I anticipated it going, to be honest. <laughs> I still have a shiv left. There's a lot. Like, it's not just like a regular, oh, here's a few zombies. It's no, let's throw like the highest level zombies we have at you. For just a regular encounter, you know? Just starting you off, warming up. Dang, game. You're not messing around anymore. There's a way out up there. Anything in the cabinet we can take? Come on, Abby. You can open. <laughs> you can open. Did anyone see her just doing her little, her little dance right there? As she tried to walk over and open that shelf. Just like kind of walking in a circle, all awkward like. Cookie butterscotch chip. That sounds amazing. Oh, all I have is water. Water doesn't quite. You know, you can't. You can try your imagination as much as you want. But it only goes so far in turning your bottled water into butterscotch chocolate chip cookies. Anything else in here? I can take that might be helpful. Considering what all we just have to fight to get back here. The assault rifle that I'm using definitely does not seem to be as lethal as Ellie's hunting rifle. I'll give you that much. Not nearly as lethal. We got one regular shotgun shell. Let's load that bad boy up. Over the, the little van. Aren't we up like on like the fifth floor of a building? How is there a truck here? I guess the street's kind of at this level. Well, that building was supposed to be infected, and then this is the interbay. In that was the word, interbay. I didn't really know what that was supposed to mean.
that's definitely the that worst. water's picked up a lot of speed. I need you to be really careful, okay? I've done Dang, that's a big drop. It's like a pit. Well, that's a question mark. We don't know if that's cleared or not. This is definitely infected. <laughs> Simba. Everything that the light touches will be yours. That's supposed to be infected too, I think, that building over there. That's kind of neat. You can see the wisps of her hair blowing in the wind. That'd be so annoying. As someone that has kind of hair nowhere near as long as hers, that would be so annoying. Tie that stuff back. Jeez. Sim. Ooh! Kind of made that. We are getting closer, though. We're at the base. It's not as tall as I thought it would be. Bit of a jump. And this building was a question mark. We don't know. Inter interbay wireless. We don't know how... Uh, how good it's going to be out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to also just take this moment to say thank you to everybody watching today. Um, thank you to everybody that's subscribed and following the channel. If you were here on Thursday, you would realize that we have hit our 10 subscribers. And during the break, before and after the streams, you know, I put those 10. You guys are the first 10. First 10 subscribers, you guys' names up on the board. Um, we go from there, so the channel is growing. I said before, the first big checkpoint for the channel is, believe it or not, 50. 50 subscribers. Once we hit 50, we unlock what I believe Twitch calls partnership. There's, I might be wrong on that. There's two of them. There's partner and then there's affiliate. Clearance sale. Everything must go. Everything did go. Um, so one of those two tiers gets unlocked when we hit 50 subscribers. Either partner or affiliate. And all that does is... It, Ooh, somebody off themselves. All that does is unlocks a lot of features. Like, God damn it. For the channel. So that's our, our next goal that we're working toward. We're a fifth know. of the way there. Isn't he a wolf? There are thousands of us. Do you know every scar? Stop calling us scars. Sure. What would you want me to call you then? Horus, Aaron will trade up for flour, cigarettes, salt, canned fruit, toothpaste, tampons, pads, any spices, cumin, oregano, red pepper, turmeric, cinnamon, etc. Some of those spices run a lot more than some of the other ones. I wouldn't say any spices. There's a reason the spice trade was a thing. So keep your eyes peeled. We could sure use the extra ammo from her. Well, somebody was shopping, I guess, and got shot? Assuming that's what happened here? Some tape in the corner. Yes, the more junk the better. I want to get that crossbow scope unlocked. And that's the big goal. Jeez, $140 a month, four lines, unlimited call, text, and web. See, it's a bit pricey. Can we, can we scope? Fingers crossed. Yes, we can. Long range crossbow with silent shots and slow reload speed. Here comes our scope. Four X scope. Now, now I am a threat. It's been so useful earlier on. 
We don't have enough parts for... We could do stability for the shotgun. Or recoil on the pistol. Mm, I mean, I do kind of spam fire the pistol. I wouldn't mind. If there's nothing else I'm really dying to get. Reload speed, maybe, for the crossbow. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do... Recoil. Attach a compensator to reduce weapon recoil. 25% accuracy, 35% recoil. Let's go for that. Ooh, it's a cool one. You can board out on the sides like a little flash suppressor. That's a cool looking extension. And la piece de resistance. Bam. Oh man, I am so jazzed. This probably does what the rangefinder. What the heck is that sound? Probably does whatever the rangefinder was supposed to do on Ellie's bow and arrow, but fails to do. I can still put a silencer on it, which is nice. Well, cleared. That building's clear, nothing to really worry about there. way across into this building. I if we can get back to that building, you know? There must not be anything in here, bad, because you just strolled right on in, Liv. This is where we're supposed to be? Yeah. This building will take us to the building next door. Get over there. I think I can jump on that truck and then jump over to that thing. I think you can even get inside that building over there. Uh, I don't know. That window, you might be able to break out. I think you can get over there. In my mind, there are just loads of secrets hiding over there, waiting to be discovered. We have to go over there. Hmm. Something ripped out of the wall here. What was that? That was a very heavy breath. I am concerned that it's a level 4 infected. One of the really big guys. Because we haven't fought one of them as Abby yet. Although in my opinion, there aren't nearly enough items or equipment yet to justify that kind of a battle. Definitely a way down. If we I do want more shivs. If we go through this door, is that going to commit us going forward? I bet it will. So let's wait. Oh yeah, we're down here. I knew it. But let's be careful.
can feel it. The anticipation. Something is coming. Something is about to happen. The calm won't go on forever. Kitchen. Hmm. Totally way across, though. Cats. Cats? Where? There's cats? Cats. cats. Oh. People from the old time were weird. I mean, that's cool. It's dancing cats. Who are you to talk about weird, Lev? You are like the epitome of weird. Not that weird is a bad thing, just it's awfully judgy for a judgy person. Okay, we're making it over there. I know it's out of the way. But there's something awesome over there, I'm sure. Ooh, almost didn't make that. Yeah, Flanagan, that's what I'm kind of feeling. I, I think as soon as I hit that water, it's going to flow me over that waterfall, and I'm going to die. Probably nothing out there. Yeah. This is just a thing. Now, if I remember correctly, this building is an infected building from his map. What? Seriously? There's nothing here? You can go all this way. This is clearly a window that you can break out. We go all this way and we can't get in this building? What is the point? What is the point of all this? I mean, besides world building, I suppose. There's no other way to get in. Huh. Talk about epic letdown. They built that up so much, the fact that this is kind of an out-of-your-way path, the whole cat conversation, and all of it for what? To do nothing? To come here? Can I jump that? Can I make it back over? <laughs> Thanks for the help, Lev. Yeah, this is ramen roll. This is the ramen roll place. We can't even get over to that building? Jeez. Here I was, all hyped up for something awesome. Oh, ramen sounds good. I make it all up tuna noodle cheese style. Take some of those ramen. Creamy chicken's the best. Put a can of tuna with it. A couple eggs cracked in it. And let, them, let them cook up. Cheddar cheese. All right, well, up we go. Disappointing, so disappointing. I was ready for something. Arada, where are we? It's a bicycle shop. I am maxed. But I have nothing that uses bottles that I can spend. So there's nothing I can do about being maxed right now, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're definitely getting a little bit of a respite here after the insane amount of casualties we had 
in the last session. Whew. Okay, I guess on we go through this gutted building. Dang. You know where we're going, right? No melee what weapons I can find fuck? here? You know I can't do that, right? There's a way around, if you don't wanna. No, I don't wanna. I'm assuming she jumped from like that little post thing right there. I missed whatever crazy thing she did. Human resources. <clears throat> Make a jump. She's doing pretty good, to be honest. And at least... Good for your cousin. Look at that. Sit at this chair. This way. Appreciate the waterfall and the view. That's how I always spend my post-apocalyptic days. Chilling. <laughs> hey. This does not look... safe. Stable, sturdy. Okay. Should have tried to jump. I don't think she. I don't think she even would have done it. I think she would have just plummeted to her doom. All right, up we go. This wooden makeshift ladder. So I feel like we're getting close to her stuff or his stuff. Here we are. Follow me. How much higher are we going? You're gonna be okay. It's a lot, isn't it? Yes. It's a lot, isn't it? I mean, they built quite the, uh... Like, I guess, scaffolding system? Very industrious. Should be clear of zombies. If they had time to come up here and build all this stuff, there should not be any zombies. And no zombies are going to wander up this high. Good boy, are we up here. Alright, up we go. Wow, did you see that? I mean, peripheral vision, but she just jumped those. I'm assuming I can't do that. Zombie squids. Give yourself a break. Pass along. The elders have agreed to a truce with the wolves. They will stay away from our island and won't engage with any Seraphites passing through their outer territories. To maintain this peace, we must all work together. Our goals remain the same. These are simply different means to achieve them. Ah, so perhaps it was the truce that splintered the Seraphites. Some of them wanted the truth, some of them didn't. And that was the split. So the whole Martyr's Gate thing wasn't the Scars, it was the Seraphites. Good thing there's ways around. This way. Work smarter, find these. not harder. Wolves never look up. Man, they have this whole, like, shanty town base constructed. How wild is that? Like, who brought the sticks up here? It's a lot of sticks to carry. A 
As I'm climbing this ladder, I have a minute to reflect. This game is not what I thought it would be. It's a tall wooden ladder. Whoa! It's Lily! It's Lily? That was Lev. Is it a guy or a girl? A pulley system for the sticks? You should have stayed away, Lily! So it is a girl. I want that, please. I'll take it, please. Dang! Did you hear bow and arrow? Her arrow like flipped a monitor. No! Now why would he shoot me? It broke in two hits. He turns the corner. Lily is standing right there. And he's like, I'm not gonna shoot Lily, I'm gonna shoot this random newcomer. Haymaker. Throat punch. Alright, how many more we got? Let him come, let him come. Let him come, Lily. Let him come. I'll find you, rat. Close enough for me to we deal with them. In the light of her spirit. Oh man, he's got a big gun. This goes wrong. Yeah, but it's not gonna go wrong. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Lady Dragana for the win here. Like, that never would have registered. I would have gone the rest of the game probably just being confused why I thought it was a girl in the beginning and then referring to, it as a, uh, referring to him as a him and then they're calling him Lily all of a sudden. Ah, so, geez. And they're just like, it's an abomination? That's horrible. Like, what is this game? Let me help. I got it. Did you hear what they called me? Yeah. Do you want to ask me about it? Do you want me to ask you about it? No. Okay. Social commentary indeed. Just very unexpected, I guess? House breaking Rufus. Oh, is this like an animation studio? Yeah, these are the people that made the movie, House Breaking Rufus. That's cool. Like, someone's job for this game was to make concept art for a movie that doesn't exist, that's just going to be in the game on a wall. So the Seraphites are just like pure crazy called evil. And they're like, this person is transgender, so we're just going to kill them? Like, it just... I mean, this is still supposed to be somewhat modern times. It's not like we're back in, like, the 1700s. And I know this stuff goes on nowadays. It just, it just seems a bit extreme. <laughs> Seems a bit extreme. <clears throat> well, the welcoming committee didn't put up too much of a fight.
Is this the next way we have to go? To the lantern? Like, if that's kind of the resistance we can expect, you know, I'm okay with that. And now there's kind of like a... I don't know if social justice is the right word you would use behind this, but like, there is kind of a justice or a vindication in us haplessly murdering the cult people. Because, geez, they're just like... all out crazy. There is like zero redeeming qualities about the cult. And maybe the game was just too, um, too real when it was like the wolves and the seraphites originally, or the wolves and the scars. And they were like, these are two groups that are kind of morally ambiguous. They've done the wrong thing, but they did the right things too. So we don't want you to think like, I'm confused. I don't know who to hate. So we're going to create a cult called the seraphites. And they are just morally, repre morally reprehensible. There is nothing good about them. So at least now you have someone that you can dislike and not feel bad about it. Like a scapegoat. What they need to do is they need to have a cult simulator game where you see things from a cult's point of view. And we can empathize with them. Clearly not this kind of a cult, but I'm sure, you know, this is just, it's just portraying cults in a bad light. Up we go. <laughs> I think I would want Lev to lead the way. Whoa. Creepy. Whoa. I mean, it's a nice effect with the sunlight coming through the window. I'll give you that. Scars built all this? Seraphites. Yeah, I was gonna say that. It's pretty cool. What's cool? Like, impressive. Awesome. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Protect that. I just can keep picking it up. I wonder if your prophet had any idea what she was starting. She saved dozens of people in ways no one can explain. She blew up trucks and killed some soldiers. Not that hard to explain. Have you read her writings? Skimmed some. You'd benefit from it. Sure. And look, he's like still defending her when they are just mercilessly out to like hate crime lynch this kid. That's horrible. Brainwashed. Brainwashed. Can we break it? Why is this here to interact with? Like, I've interacted with it. Can I be done interacting with it? Can I take it with me? Yes, I see it. Am I missing something? I mean, there's a symbol on the back. That's clear. Put it down. I guess we're just going to leave it there. I can't break the windows out or anything. Is that another workbench? Like a pretty shantytown one, because we're going to be using a oil lamp. What are you doing? Just give me a second. There's nothing I can do. I just used a workbench. And we found, like, no stuff between now and then. Seems like a poor place to put a workbench. Oh, there's a bolt. Probably just wanted to kind of show off their workbench. Tons of stuff. At least he's not upset that I'm just like looting all their equipment. Oh, there's more. What are we at? 27? No, not enough. I think that's everything. Five crossbow bolts, one rifle round, okay. And a shotgun shell still. Could 
build more pipe bombs. We can build more shivs, although I'm gonna max out my shivs if I do, so I'm gonna wait. I could build hunting pistol ammo. Just one bullet, though. Or incendiary shells. Oh, man. We're doing the pipe bombs. Huh. Improved pipe bombs would be useful. I do use a lot of pipe bombs. Maybe I'll have to work my way up that tree. Get some faster crafting, I suppose. We'll go from there. Up again. I'll go first this time. So they can shoot you? I mean, they missed the first time. How about you clear the area? Seriously, how high up are we going? Never With our profit now. We got two of them. He passed bravely. We are. Thank you. The elders have offered us a new child. That is a great honor. Elizabeth is grateful. Oh, we are high. Just we are very high. Ready. High enough to hear the wind whistling high. Can you? She's got a bow. They're done talking. I got the crossbow. <gasps> coming down really one's on the second floor one's on the first floor well, there was at least two that were chit-chatting Such a cult, absolutely right, after hearing what they were just talking about. Oh, this building goes higher than I thought it did. It definitely wasn't that high from the ground floor, though. You could very clearly see the top of it. Okay. Such a cult is absolutely right, Flanagan. And the question is, crossbows are supposed to have a lot of tensile strengths. Tension. So, do I need to accommodate bolt drop using this thing? Oh, they're going even higher. Wow. Yep, that would be scary. Who? Who? Oh, person. Emily, well? Nothing, we're good. They're very scattered, which will make this a little easier as long as I can keep track of where they're all at. As long as I can keep track of where they're all at. The one's up high. Did you see that? Did you see that? Head shot with the crossbow. Oh man, new favorite weapon. headshots that's like basically in the last five seconds i've just made the equivalent amount of headshots that i've made with bow and arrow weapons in the entire game 
keep track of those bodies. I want those bolts back. Oh, I'm like euphoric right now. This is amazing. I can finally experience the passion of the ranged weapon. Come on down, lady. Let's have some fun. It's tango. Over there. He's got a rifle. What? It's the apostate! With a what? It's no apostate. Here. Can we take cover now from the rifle person? It's undoubtedly coming for us. Come on, come on. Them out. Which way are you going? Nope. I feel no remorse. Did I get her a machete? I got the machete at least. This is going quite well. Ever since we got that crossbow with the bolt with the scope, things are just turning up Kyle. It's fantastic. We don't want to go too high. So I want to go to search the ground floor. Up there. I think they're coming down. Oh, yeah. Someone's coming down. There's two of them, though. That guy has a long rifle back there. Oh, dang. Down here. Track them down. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Still have the machete. Upgrade it really quick. So it'll last. Oh my gosh! Well, that came out of nowhere. Where did they just put me? I think those two are coming down from really up high. There's another person out there. Oh shoot, they're coming. Did you see, Lev literally just pushed me out from cover as the lady was looking at me and the lady just shot me with a shotgun. I liked Lev up till then. We were totally cool, bud, totally cool. But you're starting to be like Dina now. And I can't condone that kind of behavior. Jeez, get your stuff together. Huh. 
need the crossbow bolts from those bodies. Man, can't believe, can't believe Lev would do that. You better stay away from me, right? Social distancing, I want a six foot bubble. This lady's gonna cap me one time and it's done. Or you could kill her. That would be pretty dandy too if you could do that. But leave it up to me. Just knock her out. Although that might have broke her neck. <laughs> if anyone saw the way she just fell, that probably broke her neck. I don't think she's gonna. Oh dang! Somebody else jumping down. Shoot, dang, coming behind us too. Come on down, the lower you go, the more fun we can have. It's the <laughs> what? Gracias, gracias for all that it paid off in that case. Well, they're coming down, and I think they're coming down kind of behind me. No, Lev, this is my spot. I do not want you here. There's a person coming a lot closer than before. She's going a different way. Come on. What the oh, sorry. What the water? oh dang! an eye on them. They're flanking us. Oh, wow. That's one way to do it. Oh, dang. They're splitting up. Yeah, shoot him. Shoot him with your bow and arrow. There's three of them now? We're in a terrible spot. And we got a sniper somewhere, way in the back. There's two together. There's a top, top guy, too. Oh man, this is horrible. Oh, I almost made it to cover. I feel like every single one of them somehow has either a shotgun or, or a sniper rifle. Like, don't ask me what's going on, but the enemy has, getting a, has gotten a lot more accurate the longer the game has gone on. It's no longer they'll shoot and they'll miss. It's they shoot and they hit you in the head every single time. So, I don't know. I think it's, it's a way of making the game harder as time goes on. It's just a little cheap, in my opinion. Do not screw me over again, Lev. Do not screw me over again. Because, like, yeah, it, let's make the enemies more elite, but come on, like, it's just run-of-the-mill grunts. They shouldn't just be randomly getting better at their job the longer the game goes on. To me, that's a cheap way of making the game harder. Yeah, go find a new hiding spot. This is mine. Got it. That was close. That was very close. Twice. I don't know if you can hear that wind sound whenever like they're about to see me, but that was two times that got really, really close. Man, they're coming. They are coming. I think they all went down. What? 
Oh my. Oh my. Scour this roof. Find who did this. That was close. Oh, and that person came down from up there at that exact time, too. That was lucky. I didn't even see them. Maybe lucky enough to get this person, though. Super cool flying, like drop kick, but I was kind of hoping it would have launched him off the rooftop. I seem to be pretty set at getting this one lady. I can get her. The problem comes after this lady because they're all coming down this way. Lev, go away, please. Go away. This is my spot. Got that person with an arrow. I think Lev hit her with an arrow. And they're flanking again. Oh, Lev got one of them. Look at this. Nice job, Lev. Come on, come on. Dang it, I needed that. I didn't want it to break yet. Get down. Get out of cover. Take cover. Whatever you needed to do. Oh my gosh! Stop, drop, and roll! Man, they're like ninjas. They just come out of nowhere. <laughs> does talking to the NPC make you feel better? It does. I feel like we have a moment. We have a bond, you know? Lev and I are in this together. For better or worse. And if we're going to make it through it together, Lev just needs to learn when to stop being dumb. I might have just made a bad call there. There's two of them now. Abby, turn the other way, please. not what I want you to do. I wanted you to pull your crossbow out, snipe one of them in the head, and we could have moved on with our merry lives at this point. But no. What? <laughs> oh, Good shot, Abby. <laughs> oh, my God. They've got some good shooters. 
for people that are just like, what technology? What is the word cool? What does that mean? What is tissue? Somehow they're incredibly adept at just sniping you from like 100 yards away with a sniper rifle. We can do this for the millionth time. This is not that hard of a section. It's nowhere near as, more as difficult as some of the stuff we were doing earlier. Of course they're gonna combo up and come two at a time. Okay, as long as we watch that side, because they like to flank over there, and that makes things rather tricky. So we gotta watch that corner. But these two are like buddy buddy. She gets too far. Yep, so much for that. Yeah, but they wouldn't have learned how to shoot with guns. They seem to be like favoring the bow and arrow or things. Someone shooting at me? I feel like they'd be sh favoring the bow and arrow and stuff like that, you know? I don't see them. Really? Still, really? Must be nearby. I mean, I'll take that. Oh my gosh, that was some Navy SEAL shooting right there, Tex. Like, I had that person as a hostage. Dang. Here I was, running on the euphoria of the crossbow, like, oh, I'm so Rambo all of a sudden, and now I'm just getting schooled. Oh, we have the high ground now, fools. we get sniped to death. So that was some teamwork. Did you see that right there? Lady Dragana, I'm calling you out on this one. It's because of the bond of communication that Lev and I have together that we pulled off that pincher maneuver. I had the hostage, maneuvered back into cover, took her out, and then Lev just, boom, two arrows, done. This is when that song comes on. I think it's Montel Jordan. This is how we do it. Okay, another person. And a person coming, going up. So you have a person going down and a person going up. This is bad. This is not a good place to be right now. They're moving together. I'm 
I mean, he looks like good crossbow material right there. Yes, go down there. Nice. Get down, get down. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. I think this might be the last person. Not the last person. Upgrade that machete. I don't know how. How do they find us when we melee kill somebody? Should be not enough. That's not enough noise to alert. He didn't scream or anything. There's still more. All right, Lev. I need you to use your invincibility. Lev is short for leverage. So I need you to run out there. Draw their fire. And call out their positions to me. don't know where they're at. Well, there was a whistle. There was one whistle after I took that guy out. Crossbow bolt, please. No, of course not. Crossbow bolt, please. Of course not. Probably because I've died and respawned so many times. I just lost that ammo. Okay, there we go. We got somebody up there. Two people. Still two people. And there are a lot of them. Oh my gosh, three people. Now there's two people. Yes, I know you're up there. But the guy that's like getting melee killed, he's not stopping to whistle or anything. He was just like going like, hug, 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 and then he like died. I mean, those are pretty quiet, you know, hergulers or whatever you want to call them. I still think it's cheap. They're just gonna stay, hold up directly above me. What are they doing? Well, I know where they're at. That gives me one up on them. Of course, the stairs do not go any higher. Ooh, talk about a way down.
Ah, I see what you're getting at, Flanagan. I see what you're getting at. Lady Dragana, I'll give you that one too. If they quit whistling, they know something's up. But it's awfully quick. I can't believe I just fell off that building. Okay, at least I'm back here again, I suppose. I don't know where here even is, though. Oh, this is right when I was getting the uh, bolts, or the lack of bolts. Oh, this was a big guy. Or a big lady. Total kudos. I used a crossbow to headshot this person. One of the big heavies. All the way across the map. So there's this lady. If I can keep her silent. Of course, she's going to go up and join the other two. And that's the only way up. Is that ladder in the middle? The fire truck. <laughs> that was pretty bad. The fire truck was pretty bad. But there was no indication that you could not make that jump. Y'all gonna go anywhere besides up and down that ladder? Keep this at the ready, I guess. The fire truck death was a little ridiculous. Is there any way to get up there besides the ladder? Ooh, yes, there is. He's coming down. Coming down and around. Uh, I can't get a clear headshot on that one. I love the crossbow. It is my new favorite weapon. Although I want my bolts back. I don't think I have the ability to craft them. Okay, he's going back up. Nobody notice the lady that's no longer with us. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. Like the one person who gives me so much heck about using the arrows and bolts is not here to see this awesomeness come into fruition. Turn around. I need to look on the other side. Is that too much to ask? Like, it shouldn't just, infer, like, assume that I'm right-handed all the time. Sometimes I'd like to see from the other side. Man, I, I want my super axe from the heavy down there. Should just be two, right? One above us and one coming back down. Perfect. You come down. Ooh, okay, you're coming down too. That's gonna make things a little messy. Okay, 
Going back up. Good. That means you won't see it when I ambush this person. Of course he's going to go up too. Saw that one. She turned, looked at me. Oh, talk about seeing the end coming. Would you want so? If this was you, right? If you were that lady up there, would you want to actually look and see your doom coming? Move, Lev. Come on. Damn it. Seriously, Lev. That's twice. That's twice. You almost screwed this up again. Oh, he sees his buddy. So would you want to see, like, would you want to look over and see the person aiming their crossbow and see that bolt whizzing at you? Or would you rather just not even know? You don't know what to do now, do you? You see the silent kills. Pretty positive it's just the two of them. I can't craft anything but silencers. What a waste. That could be one bolt I could recover. But of course not. Oh. Nope. Not going to stay down here, is he? Toasted, buddy. It comes to a silent end. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Talk about scars. crossbow battle. Seraphites, whatever. Yeah. Fuck them. Kid, you don't Never even know what that Seraphite means. Cuss before. These crossbow bolts are supposed to be stronger. But I can't, re I haven't recovered a single one. Stronger my butt, jeez. I mean, it's useful, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy they came in use. I was able to s stop people with them and everything. And ultimately succeed at this fight. But it'd be nice to get to reuse the, the bolts again. Yeah, it's gonna kill me. Good, it did it. Quick little sweep for equipment. If there's anything still good laying around. I doubt it, I feel like we looted everything already, but. Can't believe we did that. And my machete is still good. 
so I can't pick up that super big. There's got to be a way to discard. Excuse me. The discard equipment. Because if I want to pick that up. Okay, so that the, the answer is hold the button. Don't just push it, you gotta hold it. That lets you swap equipment. That machete doesn't look like it's upgraded anyways. Like, I feel like the upgrade that I gave to it has already been used off, so... I don't feel too bad about leaving it behind. Let's not fall off the roof this time. Man, we did that. Like, that was actually a pretty solid fight. We were sneaky about it. Like, we did sneaky things, we did non-sneaky things. We came out on top. Very happy with how that went off. I think that's it, though. So now the question is, where do we go? We get, like, the hose, and we, like, throw it off the edge of the building, and then we have to, like, climb up on the outside. How cool would that be? Abby would not be having any of that. Oh, that's weird. Those birds just, like, appeared. Alright, we're up pretty high. Warren Properties. Well, let's take a second after this. And I'm going to let some of that water flush through my system really quick. All right, back at it. I gotta say, the crossbow is hands down my favorite weapon. Both sides, Abby and Ellie, best weapon. The giant pickaxe hammer thing is pretty baller, but it doesn't quite hold up against the epicness of the crossbow. We have so much scoped equipment. It's fantastic. You can really reach out and touch somebody with this. I gotta say, it'd be so cool to like post up at like the top of one of these buildings. I mean, it's the apocalypse, but you could like grow your plants on the roof. Had this fantastic view of the world just decaying itself around you. Like, there's definitely. You know, a silver lining. You could definitely see some positives. If you survive the initial horror of a, you know, a zombie apocalypse. But we don't want to go down. Ooh, think. I didn't even see that. Not really useful at the moment, but... Put that away, Abby. Put it away before it hurts me. <laughs> They're just me, or do those look a little weird? 
like physics wise that just doesn't it doesn't seem right that they would kind of blow at that perfect angle like that without falling lower huh this looks very odd it's like they're underwater all right higher we go Equipment. Well, we've cleared quite a few out. And there wasn't supposed to be that many, right? Isn't that the whole clue, Lev? Okay, we got a pipe wrench. Where to now? Right, let me guess. Up. Yes. It's okay, though. I don't want the pipe wrench. I want this giant one hit hammer. Garden hoses. It's kind of odd that they would have garden hoses this high. Random bits. Toolbox. So, we are into the last week of August, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody have any, um, I don't know, anything exciting coming up? That would be really cool. Like if I was able to make it to the hospital and back with the supplies to Is save that an the person. Elevator? Yeah. Hey, pull that door down. That'd be a really neat touch to the game. It's actually something I've thought about with the game. Shit. Oh, that'd be pretty scary. I mean, I know stuff like Majora's Can Mask I is a time limit. Give you some advice. Oh my god. Just. Think about the good parts, too. The good parts? Yeah, like, you run faster. You're more focused. <laughs> you don't feel pain as much. You run faster. Every bad feeling, your palms sweating, your heart racing, they're all signs you're actually strong. So when you feel afraid, you should think about how your body is getting ready for its pain. Only when weak may I carry my true strength. That was deep. Nice, going to the zoo. Are you the Columbus Zoo? She's shivering because she's terrified right now? I would be. Or is she shivering because it's probably freaking cold up here? We're like in the clouds. Nice. Have they been open? Like, I haven't kept up with the zoo. What have they been up to? Or are they just reopening soon? Well, if there are more scars, they That's definitely profit thing. Yeah. hurt us. Hmm. Taking the I thought you're anti-electricity and all that sinful old world stuff. There are exceptions. Especially for soldiers. That's convenient. Okay. Well, cool. That'll be cool to go out there and support the zoo. I like I like our Columbus Zoo. Hopefully you have good weather for it. crossed. At the very least, it'll be hot. Oh yeah, it's got cold up here. Well, the zoo, that zoo will be fun. <clears throat> Man, we are up really high.
As far as crazy plans on this end, nothing, nothing particularly. I see I have a little spot. Evil little green screen spot. A little bit better. I can live with that. But yeah, nothing too crazy on this end. I know we're going to August. <clears throat> Some changes to the screen. I'm hoping to set it up. Class. <clears throat> hoping to set it up where I can start streaming a little bit more frequently in the next few weeks. But we will see. Fourth of July. Fourth of July was good. Kind of combo with my father's birthday. His birthday's on the 5th. <clears throat> so it's chill. I think we just barbecued outside and uh, yeah, it was relaxing. It was relaxing. Nothing crazy. Windy up here. What the fuck is that? It's a bird. That's the bridge. Lev. Wait. Follow me. That? Fuck. We'll go slow. That's the bridge. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, okay. That's the bridge. It is that thing that we've been seeing from a distance. I just did not expect to have to actually cross it at any point in time. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is going to be interesting. Can you imagine if we fight zombies up here? I mean, I doubt it, but like, can you imagine battling zombies up here? <clears throat> All right, one thing down. Oh, that was a nest. It's kind of cool. Bird's People nest. cross this regularly. Yeah. You're lying. I'm not. It's I mean, literally wood planks. It's not the most popular route. <laughs> Like, wood planks are the only things pulling us up from below right now. Occasionally there's a cross beam of metal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Try not to look down. Oh, there's the building. We're getting closer. Can you imagine the wind? That would be blowing. Oh, man. Shit. Oh, gosh. Crawl. Oh, fuck. Just crawl. Just crawl. How you feeling? I'm waiting on all that true strength. <laughs> Cold. Cool. What? Never mind. Jeez, I can feel the tension. This is intense. That does not look safe. What's going on between you and your friend Owen? Oh my god, Lev, now? It seemed really awkward. Just go! It was very awkward. <sighs> we made it! Yeah, that would be terrifying in real life. Absolutely terrifying. I did it! Come on! Can we take a minute and be impressed by me? Not yet. Wait, this is not over yet? Lev, come here, I'm gonna hug you. You're not gonna wanna hug me in a second. Why? Why? You'll see. Man, this crane really fell. Talk about facing your fears. Oh my god. Why am I doing this? 
Because there's loot out here. That's why, Abby. Because there's loot. Dang. I know, tell me about it. Like, watching is enough to feel kind of like, ooh, heebie-jeebies. Like, it's not even real. And this is already pretty, in my opinion, intense. This is just as intense as fighting stalkers. Slow down, kid. It's probably wet and slippery up here. You're gonna slip, catch cold or something. Holy shit, Lev! It's gonna be okay. Eyes on me. Shit. This one looks just even jankier. What do you mean? I don't know if you saw that right. I walked up to the very edge of that one. <laughs> okay. You know what would be cool? This in VR. Oh my gosh, really? Really? They couldn't have put more wood down than that? I would crawl. Oh, fuck. I mean, in all honesty, it's not that far down. I mean, it is a little ways, but it's not like you're falling to the street level. <laughs> it was just fog. There's nothing to see. At least there's ground underneath of us, you know? This isn't so bad. You land. I mean, when we get past the edge, that'll be terrifying. But I would probably be crawling right now. I would not be walking. And now we're over the edge. How are you not terrified of this? And don't quote the prophet to me. Heights never scared me. It does. The ocean. Dogs. My gosh, it's even on an angle. Even on an angle. Holy fuck. Oh, oh wow. You seeing this? Dang. The fog had to clear right then. Alright. They've done a pretty good job of making this feel terrible. There's the hospital. On those narrow things, it does. I keep my balance on the narrow things. Oh my god. Almost there. What? Shit. Hey, look, you can see the hospital now. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> Focus on me. I can't do this, Lev. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Oh, this would so be me, but like 10 minutes earlier. True strength. You wouldn't be able to hear Lev all the way over here. True strength. Crawl. You don't have to. That's even worse. You know how hard it is to walk like that in real life? Yeah, I'm balancing her right now. Well, I was balancing. True strength. True strength. Oh, man. She even, like, jumped away from it. Like, you could at least land it on that little bar down there and try to keep going. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> I wouldn't be hobble walking like she is. That's horrible. There's no way to keep your balance doing that. Come on. Or lose the back. Okay, you're almost there. So much stuff on your back. Like, you can on. make it. Come on. Alright. Only one time. Only one time. What? Oh, it's metal at least. It's not wood. That's even worse, though. There's no support. 
Almost there. All right. All right. Now we're here in a creek. What are you going to do? There's no Come way. On. I'm dizzy. Shit, oh. Hold on. Hold me up. 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 At least there was water. Dang, you got lucky. Yeah, I don't know if I would have got past that in my life. Dang. It's a different kind of drama. You ready? Can I get a minute? Please. Okay. Well, we got lucky. Where's you now? We hit that and broke through I it and didn't know. slide off the edge. What do you mean? This is the right building, but I've never been to this part of it. The bridge drops us off at the back of the building. This is new to me. Great. Okay, well, let's see if we can find our own way down. Ah, oh, great. Of course, we're in a part he's never been before. And a new pair. Oh, now we're in uncharted territory, and for some reason, even though we're like 800 floors up in the air, there's probably going to be zombies. Oh, there's all the glass shards. That's pretty big, cool. I'm curious if anyone dropped any quarters in here. Yeah. Yes, they did. What do you know about that? Here I am like, this one dropped a quarter in the pool. And they did drop a quarter in the pool. We got an Illinois. That was nice. Look at that. Bam. Can't believe I found that. Find a little quarter in the bottom of that murky pool. If that's the worst of it, we got off lucky. Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe it was. Some wolves believe in God. I've heard them pray. Well, I don't. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die for me. Then what are you doing here? Why did you come back for us? Guilt. Of what? You don't owe us anything. I just needed to lighten the load a bit. I mean, technically, you did save my life twice. Or do you not remember that? Foam rollers. Wow, that's actually a pretty big gym. Any supplements in the gym? Any anything? Hey, nothing. Second floor, but I don't think I can get up there. Where are we? The Hotel Blacre. Like a stairway. Oh, no, that's stairways. We're on the 21st floor. Jeez. We 
have a safe. Interesting. And I have so much stuff that I can't pick anything up. Of course, I don't have the useful stuff because I can't actually... What? can't actually uh, build anything. Just in case. I'm feeling like it's about time for another one of those like zombies that are like part of the wall to come at me. For some reason, the other bathroom is just, like, barricaded on both sides. <laughs> Wrong window. <laughs> Maybe supplements in here? This is kind of like a juice bar kind of a thing. See, at least a combination, hopefully. Supplements, called it. Tiny little kitchen. It was a post-it note, but I did not see that post-it note. Please don't leave valuables lying around while you're on shift. We have an employee safe in the cleaning closet in the lobby. The code is the same as the Wi-Fi. Cheryl. I didn't even see that. I was just spamming the triangle button. This could have been a tough one to find. So we need the Wi-Fi password. The Wi-Fi password. Hmm. Here we go. Free Wi Fi. 121879. Ta da! See what we got. 121879. Got it. Supplements. And we got a trophy. Four. Whoa. Check out that. Safe cracker. Unlock every safe. It's a very rare trophy. But that means there are no more safes in the game. So we must be nearing kind of the end. I mean, it's not day three yet, but if we've unlocked every safe, I mean, that's kind of sad. Maybe our adventure is coming to a close. Still can't build anything, but I have 50 supplements. Craft more durable upgraded melee weapons. I think it just gives me plus one durability, plus one hit, potentially. Let me get that. And my pipe bombs get better after that. Wow. We've got every safe. Here's our way down. If we get to the street, we'll be right by the hospital. Oh my gosh. You know what's going to happen? A gigantic zombie is going to bust through this door. One of those level fours. <laughs> Just a body. 
one of yours? No. Yeah, but Check why out is the he close? Here. here. Looks dark down there. Oh, I see how this works. It's like you're touching the forbidden stuff. Seb, Victor, and Irina are Had dead. orders to clear out this building. Avery and Mally are missing, and I'm bit. The nest, oh man, that doesn't sound good. The nest was bigger than we anticipated. I tried to blow them up, but the effing detonators were faulty. Figures that effing Fedra incompetence is what's going to kill me. A nest. Love, are there infected in this building? We always take elevators down to the bottom, so I don't know. Oh my gosh. So this skyscraper is going to be like 40 stories of terror here, or 21 floors of zombies, whatever you want to call it. We have 21 floors of horror and madness to descend into. Oh, great. Get the shotgun on the quick draw. Oh, man, this is not good. Things were going so well. Can we go back up on the roof again? Climb around a little bit. 20 floors. Like something drug him up here and set him there. Look at this. It's gonna be a level four. 19. We haven't had any level fours yet, as Abby. Oh, great. Another mangled person. Are the stairs out? Why I can't. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Careful. Just wanted to look how far we got. Oh, yeah, there's no more stairs. There's no way down. Like, what if there literally is no way down? Hotel evacuation plan. Spores. Masks on. Wait, does he have a mask? I don't have one. Do you guys not believe in gas masks? We were on the run. I'm gonna have to do this solo. Stay here. Are you serious, game? Right now? Solo? Back up. All the way. If you die, I'll be stuck here. Better start trying to make it. Why? Why? We're just pogo sticking here, ping ponging from one horrific I... moment. Gas mask. To another. Gas mask. We haven't found a single gas mask this entire game. Why are we suddenly just going to magically find one here? And why are there spores 21, or 19, 19 floors up in a skyscraper? Let's knock some windows out and let that gigantic jet stream breeze take care of it. This is madness. This is madness. Stuff loaded. We got no choice. We got a job. Has to get done. So we're gonna do it. That's a bit. So way down. We don't want to go down there. Room 1901. 
We have a dead soldier. And hopefully nothing busts out of those doors. Looks to be a closet. He's skin and bones. Okay, well at least one room is in the clear. Ooh, supplements. Nice. Maybe I should see if I can, like... Oh, increased health is way down here. There's no way I'm getting it anytime soon. Ah, oh, the tension is back. Just can't make this easy, can they? I mean, I had that giant pickaxe. Holy shit, this building's fucked. Yeah. And this will help. If I have to run, this is like my Gandalf's last stand. You shall not pass spot. One floor up. One floor up. I mean, they're gonna find a way down. Or the ceiling's gonna give way, and they're just gonna bust charging in on me. Another dead Federal soldier. I mean, this is a really big hallway. I feel like this is designed for a big combat battle. Like, look how huge this hotel room is. At the very least, it's like a presidential suite here. This is a huge bathroom. Man, I do not like this. Look at that. What is that? Like we're just straight back in Stalkerville all over again. There shouldn't be stalkers. This is like 19th floor, no humans. Always the worst stuff. Okay, room 1903. I'm out of my mind. Locked. Was that a zombie sound or was that a person? It sounded like a person. Maybe there's a connecting door I can get in over on. Ooh, gas mask. Man, this is gonna go so bad. Finally. If you're gonna kill yourself, don't ruin the mask. Oh, never mind. Dick. The walls don't look bad, you are right. These two rooms are now conjoined. Let's get into this room over here. That's not good. Oh, there's a zombie in there. You can hear it. The thing is, that room's locked from both sides.
Like, I'm not sure how to get in there. There's light, you can see it kind of through the doorway there, a crack in the door frame. Oh. Of course the stream's not close to ending. I'm like, if only it was like nine o'clock already. What do you know? I'll have to save this for next time. This is the worst part, you know, this is the suspense, the tension. before all madness breaks loose. I've got three pipe bombs and I have four shivs. Keep that in mind for when panic mode kicks in. Oh, there's gonna be a person coming out of that wall, I bet. Supplements. That looks an awful lot like a spot where a zombie could pop out. It's the only way left to go. Cabaros, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Am I Asian? Uh, I'm half Asian. My father is Caucasian and my mother is South Korean. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Welcome to Quarters Without Borders. There's so a zombie going to come out of that. Well, maybe not. Doesn't. Oh, yeah, there you can see it. There's its legs and everything. You go. I'm just making sure you're not coming to get me. There, I've carved off a nice chunk of that zombie. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the channel. I don't know if you've uh, stopped in before or not, but um, there's another gas mask over there. So what we're doing here, we're playing through The Last of Us Part 2. That's probably pretty obvious. Um, we're playing through on survival difficulty, on the hardest difficulty possible. So we have no crosshairs, nothing else, no HUD. And every time we die or have to retry, I'm donating a quarter, 25 cents, to a charity. We're up to $49 as of this moment. Well, actually, a few more. We got a few more quarters in the bucket right now. So I'll have to total it up, but so we're probably over $50 at least. It's all going right now to the United Way of Central Ohio. It's your first time here. Cool. Well, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Have you played The Last of Us before? Or the part two, at least? Yes. Wait for it. Looks good. All right, back to love. Yeah, right. Like it's gonna be that easy. Like it's going, like, you know something absolutely horrible is about to happen. Just the first one. Okay, nice. The first one was a good game. So, for what it's worth, this is a, this is the second game. We're actually a, probably a little past halfway. So hopefully, you know... Not too many spoilers in case you want to play through it yourself. Um, right now, we're in an area full of spores. And our partner doesn't have a gas mask. So we just found one. We've got to make it back to him. But it was awfully quiet. <laughs> We've been like exploring a bunch of this abandoned skyscraper hotel. So I'm almost positive when we go back, something is going to jump us. 
This zombie better be dead. I beat it up already. Oh! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why? Why are there stalkers? It makes no sense. Oh my gosh. Not cool at all, game. Not cool at all. There's nowhere it could even came from. It's a dead end right there. What do you want? What do you want? You coming for me? Coming for me? I see you. I see you hiding right there. Who else? Who else? Who's next? Anybody else? That's right. Hunting pistol. That's my last round, though. <sighs> Stalkers are definitely not my favorite. <laughs> I'm not naive enough to think that's the end of it. Um, so, yeah, so yeah welcome, welcome to the channel. This is what we're doing. Playing our way through the game. Dying a lot. No, get it off, get it off, get it off! Really? That's how we do it, headshot. I think I need a med pack. I hope that's it. Oh, that's not concerning, or comforting. Okay, not too bad. I can live with that. But yeah, playing through, raising money for charity. We're, uh, it's a pretty new channel here. This is actually just a little over my first month streaming, so. I don't know what else you're usually used to watching on Twitch or anything like that, but. You know, stay, stay for a while. You know, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. We are all ears here. We're just kind of having a good time on a Saturday. I wonder if that apartment down there... Oh, it is open. That's where they came from. That locked door. It's open now. So they all just came out of this room somehow. Dang. Look at that. That room really got funky. Oh, they broke through both doors, apparently. Okay. Supplements, I'll take those. Not sure I want to take supplements that I found on this bed, but... I can live with that, I can live with that. Craft a med pack. We're up to 37. We can get stronger pipe bombs. 50% blast radius increase. That would be nice. Considering how much I use the pipe bombs, I'm okay with that. Ah, oh, I do not like the sound of this. Just to make things safe, let's load up that incendiary round, in case things get a little dicey. <laughs> I think we made it. Hey, we did it! Got your present. You wanna like blow it out or something? I'm sure it's full of spores on the inside. Here. 
It looks a little big for the kid. You're taking too long. Can't move any faster. I won't do your sister any good if we're both dead. There. I feel like you could have switched masks. We got this. Hers looks a lot smaller. So where are we gonna go now? Did you see a way down? No. But you know what? Abby, what about that? Huh. Oh, we got a rope. Is that a fire hose? Lev, come get this down. Oh. Coming. <laughs> Coming down. Over there? Like you had to throw it over there? You couldn't throw it over near me where I'm at? Why? Why did you have to do that? Be careful. Come on. You got this. Can we go up? I'd like to go up and see what's up there. Oh, I can't aim my gun. Jeez, this is horrible. That's some epic strength. I mean, get ready to climb, lady. Get ready to climb. Look at all this infection down here. What? I gotta drop down? That's it? Then I'm screwed. There's no way out if I drop down. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, well, we're down. But this... I mean, they were talking about a nest before. This is a nest. Okay. Well, he's here. At least... Follow me. At least Lev is with me. Be calm. There's some stuff in here. That could be a zombie, too. we got here? Avery, the Black Ray Hotel, contains a large group of infected, likely the ones that spilled out of the hospital. We need you and your crew to bring down the supports from the inside out. Use the supplied explosives and remote detonators. Good luck. Jeez. So they were going to, like, basically implode and demolish this building. And it failed. I wonder if I'll get to do it, although I guess you would have heard it playing as Ellie. So apparently not. God. Oh, you see him? Did you see the stalker down there? I mean, that's probably the way out, but there was definitely a stalker. I think is the only way forward. At least we have, come on, not right now. Oh, you know, you know there are some zombies coming out of these walls. At least I got Lev with me, secret ninja kid. Lev, you better be ready. That one looks like it's a zombie. It's got a whole foot and everything. I bet that one's gonna come for me. <laughs> Lev, Lev, anytime now. 
Get it, Lev. Get it, Lev. Go. Oh, man. I knew that was a wall zombie. I need you to go forward and clear it out. It's coming. It's coming. Well, it's definitely to the right. What just happened? Did Lev hit me with an arrow? Like, there was no kill. I just, like, turned to blood and disappeared. That was a very unusual death. Okay, got the note. We did this little room. All right, well, Flanagan, if you want to see it this time, if it does it again, when we walk out in this area, you're going to see it run down there by the window. See it? Down there by the door. That's the zombie I was talking about. Get an alcohol bottle. Now, I know this one's coming. Yeah, look at that. Left teamwork. Arrow to the head. Nice Holy job. Shit. Nice that thing was growing into the wall. Job. Until it fucking wasn't. I hate demons. Tell me about it. Man, there's so much room. an eye forward. I'm glad I got Lev with me. He's actually proven quite useful in some situations. I don't think we have any wall zombies to worry about here. Man. Like, this stuff is so weird. Gotta jump down. We gotta jump, jump. Let's hope there's nothing waiting for us in that room. Cause there's something in that closet. You can see it growing out of the closet. Oh yeah. There's one right there. How many more floors down do you think we have to go? I don't know. It's a big building. Yeah. Maybe not. That one doesn't have feet. I think that's the trick. If they have feet, we gotta be careful. Whew. Okay. You can breathe for a second. Your eyes peeled, Lev. I hear one. Can we jump across that? Of course, we had to walk across it. And you know. There's gonna be. Damn. That's high. That's gonna be one right there. You can see the feet. See the feet? That's the trick. 
Maybe I can make it back across that? Get him off, get him off the edge. Yeah! Whoa! Get him, Lev. Get him, Lev. Oh, great. Seriously? Lev, you got this. Just come run back over this way, man. Finish it. Finish it, Lev. What? Yeah. Go, Lev. I'm here if you need me. Look at him. He's juking it. He's juking it. Don't come near me. Quit missing, Lev. Oh, God. Man, I had to waste that ammo, too. Wasted that round, Lev. After all that work, really? Jeez. Bring you all this way. Oh, man. At least you could well, kill I'm a single so clicker. I'm so glad we took this shortcut. Even though we're stuck with all these demons? That's a joke, Lev. All this way, you couldn't even take out a clicker on your own. What good are you? You're supposed to be helping, man. You're supposed to be helping. All right, we are kind of winding down here toward the end of our stream, our our long play Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. We still have a little ways to go, so I think we can definitely probably make it to the hospital before we have to start wrapping things up. But just a heads up, we're probably getting down to the last the last half hour or so on our stream. You've been watching today. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday with me here at Quarters Without Borders. Hope you've been having a good time laughing at every time I've died or been terrified. Both things which happen quite a lot. Okay, there's another way down and across. We got a bathroom we can sneak into. Before we go down, let's see what's over there. What is that? Is that the flamethrower? Does that zombie have a leg? That zombie definitely has a leg. That is a flamethrower, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh my gosh, his head came off. That is a flamethrower. We can make incendiary rounds. I'd like to craft hunting pistol ammo. Man, she's got a lot of weapons. Well, we have to test it out, and I know he's coming out, so. Oh, gosh. Well, at the very least, it distracted him. I mean, I didn't want to go through too much ammo on like a lowly little stalker. But at the very least, it did distract him. So I can't complain too much. Is 
she is hurt. It's time to heal. So what's our quick draw weapons? I want the shotgun with incendiary rounds on quick draw. Flamethrower is back. Just wait till a giant guy comes up with the flamethrower. We gotta just go to town on him. Now we can go down live. That was definitely a worthy side detour. Well, there's the hall exit. Only a little further down. Man, so much. Supplements, it's always good. No legs. That one I don't think is coming after me. At least we know how to tell whether they're coming or not. Look for the legs. Whoa. Okay, we got a clicker. It's not paying attention. As long as nothing comes out of the wall, we'll be okay. We got two clickers. Ooh, look at that cloud of spores. What do we have over here? Oh, well, it's another way across, it looks like. Ooh, I hear some angry sounding zombies. There's a big guy, a exploding dude. You can hear him. Let's ace off the, the clickers. That will make our job a little bit easier. That one growing from the ceiling. I don't know where he's at, but you can hear him. If this is a nest, there is a good chance there will be a level 4 zombie in here. Sounds really close. Oh, there I know there's a lot of spores going on, but I got my heavy weapons when I need them. Probably going to be the climax of this area. Let's be a level four guy. Is that one of them right in front of me? Wow, look at that. We have a long way to go still. All the way down there. It's like six, seven floors still. This guy is really loud. He's got to be super close. Oh, great. Here he comes. Ooh, 
Come on, bud. You just try. Eat a brick, fool. Eat a brick. Really? You're not gonna come? I even threw a brick at him. Well, don't waste the crossbow bolt. I have two rounds here. I don't want to use that. Flamethrower when he gets close. Maybe I'll flamethrow him first. And save that incendiary shotgun round for later. I feel like I'm... Uh, Sigourney Weaver, an alien. Give him a nice little spurt, and then we're running. Okay. And he seemed to take that pretty well. You don't know what to do, do you? You don't know what to do. Well, we're not gonna waste an incendiary round on now. We could throw a pipe bomb though. I think that seems like a good a good middle ground. Guy done. A little exploit on the AI. So apparently he just didn't know how to get across that span, nor was he interested in walking. Oh, they have a lot of the copies of the same magazine. Well, where are we going now? There's the big zombie. And then it's just kind of fungus everywhere. Don't think we can get through there. Can't use this door. Oh, there's another walk. We didn't have to fight him. We could have just walked right past him. I hate this. We didn't make it down a floor, unfortunately. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm getting very hungry. I think just like, even though I'm, I've been sitting here, <laughs> I think the intense heart rate is just like burning calories. Because man, well, that's a bit of a jump. <laughs> That one has feet. Whoa, who ripped up this mattress? We can't go down any further. Lev, get your butt down here. Because that guy's coming for us. Need you to be ready. Come on. <laughs> 
Thank you, Lev. Really appreciate the assistance. Lev, I hate this building. Keep going down. We're almost at the street. I guess on the, the bright side, it'll be clear after this. So if we ever need to use this building again, it should make things a lot easier. I feel like we're really going down. I mean, I know, I know we actually are going down, but it just feels like it's taking forever. Okay, I don't see any zombies that are breaking out of the molds right now. Not going that way. What, we gotta jump again? Another time down? I only have one shiv left, too. I don't think, since she doesn't have a knife, which I don't know why Abby doesn't have a combat knife. Because she doesn't have a knife, you can't assassinate clickers. You have to use a shiv to kill them. Okay, we're going. Very nearly there. Like this might be the last drop needed. But this room down here looks like there's a lot going on in it. Flamethrower and shotgun. We don't want to jump that way. Land on the mattress. Okay, so far so good. Nothing crazy have got came out to get us yet. More supplements. I feel like we're doing pretty good on the supplement front. 57, yeah. Improve silencers, and then this goes to be craft more pipe bombs. Craft more incendiary shells, craft more hunting pistol ammo. Yeah, I'd like to get those. 50% movement speed while aiming. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get out of this building. is a very great way of describing what it is we're in right now though. Like it's just, like this place is just destroyed. We got another Fedra agent and some sunlight, hallelujah. Finally a moment of respite. Is it true that Isaac took down the old guard? Fedra, yeah. I hear he tortures people. He does. <laughs> Let's it's not brutally. Talk about this now. Okay. Have you ever tortured people? Oh yeah. Let's focus on getting out of here. Well, it's a little more daylight around here. It's a little more promising. We're still really high up in this building though. Oh yeah, we're still really high up. 
We've made quite a bit of progress, so that's the Ferris wheel all the way over there. I'm impressed with how far we've come. I'm impressed with how far we have come. down a little bit more. So much for the sunlight. This is like the darkest it's ever been. <sighs> Moment of hope there for a little bit. I'm like, we've made it. <sighs> oh, great. Another Fedra agent. Well, we're just a little bit further. We can do this, we can make it. Oh, that's gonna be loud. Too many demons is a great way to describe what we're just in right now. Oh my. It's not too many demons. Like, that's not even, that's... I don't think you fully understand the circumstances that we now find ourselves in. I only have one... Oh, I can craft more shivs. Thank goodness. That's one clicker over there, and it's not wandering around. A non-wandering one can be iced. Quick and easy. Oh gosh, there's two non-wandering ones. Iced. remaining. The problem is this one's facing us. We have to, oh gosh, that one's walking too. Well, if we have three shivs, we can ice those two. That'll leave us with one shiv left for when things get bad. Oh, that one's gonna come out. That zombie's gonna come out of that wall. And that's gonna screw everything up. We cannot go this way. If we trip that zombie, it's gonna wake up that clicker, and then they're all coming for us. And I do not know the layout of this level well enough yet. So we're gonna have to avoid that route right now. Oh, there's a big guy. There's a big guy at the end of the hallway. I don't know if it's a level four or what it is. Oh, it's a level four. It is a level four. This, this is, I don't know. Of course, this is where the game is going to put us. Jeez, there are clickers everywhere. Lev, I need you to move while I'm working. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Oh god. And the shivs don't kill them when they grab you. So there's another zombie that busts out of the wall there too. So that throws the cookie or... I don't, I don't even know what the saying would be. Through the wall, please. Through the wall. Ready. Oh, you gotta be kidding. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh. Did you see that? I actually did it. Yeah, that shotgun blast. I got like four of them all grouped up. They, they were all going after Lev. And it was just like spray <laughs> pipe bombs. I have four of them. There goes the patrolling. Oh man. Okay, I need to work on. I'm out of shivs already. So I'm out of shivs. That means I cannot kill clickers. Like, where did I get the equipment to make shivs from? Was it in here? Yes. Okay, so I've got three more. It's only good if I can get them from behind. So I know I can kill at least one in this room. Just kind of thin the numbers a little bit. Now there's a wall guy and that guy. Those both I can't deal with. Oh, I hadn't picked up the item yet. I guess the item was a little bit further in the level. So it does, it does refill. Two shivs. Oh, man. Thing is, once this guy busts out of the wall, it's going loud. There's no way around it. I'm lucky I can kill this in one shot. There's another patrolling one. Which I cannot deal with, but I can kill the one that's standing all by itself. I have not. I have not had the opportunity to try killing them when they're in the wall. There was a body earlier in the game that I shot in the wall, but I don't think it actually was a, a living zombie. Okay. We are thinning the herd. We have two wall zombies. Now, the good thing with the wall zombies is as long as I don't go near them, they shouldn't come out. So even when I start all this crazy insanity, as long as I avoid the wall zombies, I should be okay. I have a big guy, and we have that one patrolling clicker. Now I have one crossbow bolt left. This is probably gonna be my answer for that clicker. This is just a snipe it when it walks by. That'll leave, as far as I know, that'll leave just the big guy and then the wall zombies if they come out. And that to me, that's pretty good odds. I can I can I can deal with that. Because I think we have enough equipment, especially with Lev there, that we can do some serious damage to the big zombies. Question is, where is that walking clicker at? Because I need him to come back. There we go.
toasted. And of course, all my crossbow bolts are in those zombies over there, which I can't go pick up. Gotta remember to switch to my incendiary rounds if I need it. Think I can fight this guy right here? Without drawing the attention of the other zombies? I really don't think so. I can try though. It's worth a shot. But then, if that draws their attention, you know this big guy's coming next. So let's get this ready. We're gonna take a gamble. We're gonna try to kill this wall zombie without dealing with anybody else. Oh, we avoided it. We avoided it. And I got a crossbow bolt back. Fantastic. careful. Well, I don't really have a way of shooting it. I mean, I could try the bolt, but the thing is, it's like caked in the wall. Like, there's nowhere to really see, like, where its head is. I really don't think I can do anything to it. Still can't craft more shivs. The pipe bombs could be useful though because I don't think the pipe bombs will give me away. The big guy to the left slightly. Now we have to be careful of more wall zombies. Those, uh, I can't really tell. It does not seem like a wall zombie to me. He can bust through that wall, though. You can definitely tell that wall is breakable. Let me get a little closer to this wall zombie. I can try. I mean, if I lose this crossbow bolt, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Ta-da! Flanagan, I hope you saw that. And I got the bolt back. That could not have gone better. Good call. Good call. Okay, next is the next wall zombie. Big guy's still down there. Nothing to worry about. The thing with this one is, though... I don't know where the head is for this one. It's got an arm. Maybe the head is up there? I don't know. Or that's the head, maybe? I can't... T I don't feel comfortable killing this one. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. That might be the head right there. But if I miss, it's just going to wake it up. I really can't tell. Because there's an arm way up here.
Lev, I need you to move. You are... How are you always in the way, man? Like, for reals. I don't know what to kill on this side. I'm gonna let this one go. We got a big dude. I mean, the question is, do we start it? Do we start this fight? Because there's no guarantee. I mean, we, we have the route. We know what to do to clean him up. But there's no guarantee that we're going to survive this. That's not a wall zombie. Doesn't have enough leg. Just in case they come to life. <laughs> there he is. Start with a pipe bomb. Get everything equipped to go loud, basically. Flamethrower, incendiary shotgun. First, here goes nothing. We threw four pipe bombs. Four pipe bombs. I unloaded both incendiary rounds on him. Okay. Let's put us in a good spot. This guy is dead. We have our crossbow bolt. Like, we're basically ready to go to town. At least it saved. Thank goodness it saved. We're gonna do that all over again. Yeah, he 100% beat me to death. I don't need the silencer, so we'll take that off. He just threw me on the ground and just punched me a bazillion times. And I think, just to be safe, we're going to put this bad boy to three-round burst. Just let's just not miss. Here we go. that big demon yeah we did that's how you Come do on. it four pipe bombs back to back to back two incendiary rounds and then just a normal shotgun shell to the face when you're loaded loaded for bear and you're just ready to shoot we we, we rock that that could not have gone any better he didn't even get a chance this was easy oh, i'm like euphoric right now we just rocked this encounter Stealth killed them. We shot the guy in the wall with the crossbow and managed to pull that one off. And, I mean, we thought we died one time. We died one time. I'm pretty sure I added a quarter. It's muscle memory at this point, so... I'll go back and watch. Make sure I added a quarter. I was really excited about this, though. Before we move on, 
there is that wall zombie I want to deal with. And maybe it's the only one. And maybe it will kill me. But it needs to be dealt with. Man. That is just... Whew. That shows you the importance of planning. I know you're coming, buddy. Finish. <laughs> the importance of planning. I gotta say, that felt good. Like, we put a plan together, we executed it, and we survived. Like, I could not have asked for that to go any better. Clearing the hive out. Who needs Fedra soldiers? Just call Lev and me. <laughs> Ooh, that, that level 4 zombie. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck this building. Hey, it's the second time you've cursed. <laughs> well, we still have a long way to go down. Dang. But I think we earned our rest for a second. All the things. Ooh, and we got a Wisconsin quarter. Got like a bobcat on it. So what happens if she finds like a duplicate? Does she keep the duplicate quarter? And like potentially trade it with someone else? Because she's been very fortunate not to find any duplicates so far. Now that is a shining axle. Looks like daylight though. Looks like daylight. You can take your mask off. We're a lot lower than I thought. Thank you. I mean, we got a long way to go, but it looks like there's a rooftop at least, like a rooftop patio. Oh, get, get in here before you take your mask off. Wow. We're not out of the woods yet, Liv. I mean, we're getting lower. I think that's it for us in the skyscraper, though. I think we're going to try a different way out. Outside, the Hotel Black Cray. The hospital. Wow. It's right there. It's getting pretty late, though. We did it. We sure did. Not yet. You see that elevator right there? Yeah. That's the path we would have taken. No infected. Psst. Cool, Lev. Well, that window washing elevator? I told the others about what happened. I don't want Yara to worry. You're a good brother. Can I ask you a question? Oh, they're siblings. I didn't know that. You regret shaving your head. We're not supposed to have regrets. Love. I wish I had just ran away. Then Yara wouldn't be caught in all of this. She'd be back home taking care of our mom. Does your mom need taking care of? There's a way across. 
She's our mom. It's our duty. <sighs> Breathing a sigh of relief. We rocked that. And Flynnigan, total kudos. That was an epic call on shooting the zombies in the wall. If you know they're there, that crossbow bolt smokes them. Check the bar really quick. I'd like to get to the hospital. Rhode Island. Is that like a badger or something? A bear? Badger in a tree? I'd like to get to the hospital before calling it a quit tonight. Although I know we're pushing our time a little bit here. Hopefully after all that. That was quite a crescendo. That should be the end, I would expect. <laughs> I'm getting sore from sitting here, dang. Let's go and see what happens. Ooh, I like these flowers. May she guide you. So this is like the way we normally would have came out. But luckily we cleared the hive. I mean, it'll make it easier in the future if we ever have to go that same way, you know? Bells. Well, let's not go down just yet. Guess there's nowhere else to go, is there? Ooh, tons of stuff. I'm getting a lot of like random junk pieces. This is really good. This is like the first oven we've seen open. Nice painting. And here we are. This is as far as you go. But, wait, why? Because they want to kill you. With me, they're just worried about a backgammon rematch. What's backgammon? I'm gonna go in the front door, grab the stuff, come right back. You're staying here, yeah? Yeah. Unless they question why Abby is here. She ran away, and she's supposed to be back in one night. It's been two. She was supposed to be back already. And here we are, at the hospital. That is going to be where we stop today, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, making some progress, a few more quarters in the bucket. Not as, not as taxing as the first half of the day. But we are now 47 and a half hours into it. Seattle day two to the descent. I'm pretty sure we're past the descent since we're at the hospital right now, but that's where the autosave put us. Wow. That has been a doozy. Whew. That's a lot. Talk about success, though. Not only making progress in the game, getting stronger and more efficient at it, I feel, but at the same time, you know, raising money. I know we've cracked over $50 at this point. We were at 49 and there's, at l there's definitely at least a dollar, maybe even two in there right now. So, making progress. <sighs> it was. I felt like today was a really solid session. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with all the retries over and over and over again. Hopefully it was entertaining. Hopefully it was a way to kind of like, you know, give you something to watch or just background noise or whatever it's going to be um, on this Saturday. Um, as always, we're doing every other Saturdays for these long plays. So next week will be a short or an abbreviated week. And we're looking back to just our regular streaming schedule Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Picking up right here with Abby at the hospital, which we've been there before as Ellie. So I will have, of course, a new updated total for everybody Monday morning. 
We'll see where we stand with the donations, and I'll continue working on the charity ideas. We had a lot of cool concepts thrown out there, like Patreon, um, actually becoming a 501c3 charity organization myself. Um, but either way, I, I want to find a way to continue to devote time to this as a hobby, raise money for organizations, and kind of put some good out there, but at the same time, it wouldn't hurt to get a little bit of support for this channel, especially with everything going on right now. <laughs> so I appreciate you taking the time, everybody, for sticking around watching. Of course, following and subscribing. We're at 10 subscribers, which is a great landmark we've hit. Um, I can't wait to see us climb to that 20, 30, 40, 50 mark and hit that first milestone. And as always, questions, comments, suggestions, throw them my way. I want to hear as much about the channel, what you think I could do better, what you think I should do next. Uh, we found all the safes in the game, so we must be kind of getting near a wind down. So it's about time to start thinking about where we're going to go next after The Last of Us 2 wraps. The Last of Us Part 2 wraps. And um, we move on from the United Way of Central Ohio as our charity. So we're doing a really good, a good job here, I think. Um, Schedule-wise, let me check something really quick because we might have an alteration. I want to make a quick announcement now about it. Checking my phone. Yes. So we're going to have a slight alteration to the schedule, at least the bi-weekly schedule. Our long play Saturdays have been happening every two weeks on Saturday, which would mean the next long play Saturday will be Saturday, August 8th. Now, there is a slight discrepancy because Saturday, August 8th, I have a DJ gig. Woo, what? Yes, there actually are weddings still happening. This is like my first DJ gig of the year, basically. So I will be, fingers crossed, nothing terrible happens in the next week or two. That changes that. But as of now, I am booked for a DJ gig Saturday, August 8th. So our long play Saturday will slide to Sunday the 9th. And it will be a long play Sunday. Still rhymes. It's still catchy. Um, the times will most likely be the same, but I'll have a better idea as dates get closer. And this is all tentative right now. I've been watching really the Governor DeWine announcements and meetings, press conferences he has like twice a week following the stuff with the coronavirus in Ohio, following the stuff from a federal level. Things are not trending a very happy direction. So I wouldn't be surprised if in a week or even less than that, there's more stuff passed down the line. So everything could be up in there. We could still have our Saturday long play um, happening on the 8th. But just so everybody knows... As of now, potential rain date, so to speak, we're going to keep that Sunday, August 9th, open. And it'll be a Sunday long play that week. Of course, I'll keep everyone posted as we get closer to that date as things go on. I'm hoping to get things ironed out for tomorrow, just housekeeping stuff. So we'll get a, a donation tracker on screen so you can see, just like we have our chat logo. Um, and... At the very least, I think I'll go through with the plan that I've been working on this last week. So I'll have the two options for like a tip jar and a donation link to go to the United Way. So at least there's something on, on stream as of Monday. And then once that's up, we'll see about reworking it in a way that can be more effective. Or I guess more in line with what everyone wants to do. So, because, I don't know, I can only do this because of the support from everybody like you out there watching. So thank you very much. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot more work then you might expect maybe one of these days will be like a behind the scenes and you can see like this 100 degree room that I am sitting in sweltering right now from all the tech and the lights. Um, but it is, it's a project and thank you for coming along on this journey with me. There hopefully will be some, some supplemental streams, I guess, coming out in the future. Um, the Moto Vlog will hopefully be up and running soon. And um, I've got this kind of side dance project idea I've been working on so I don't want to give any hints on that um, but rest assured it's not something that I think you've ever seen before it's not something I don't think anyone's ever done before at least not the way I'm going to do it so I'm excited about that um, but yeah I'm going to quit rambling ladies and gentlemen thank you so much it's dark outside at this point thank you so much for spending your Saturday here with me at Quarters Without Borders where we are playing today for a better tomorrow. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I will catch everybody next week, last week of July. 
Until then, happy gaming.